most difficult challenges into your greatest opportunities. I remember the day like it was yesterday. It was 2005 and I filed for bankruptcy. In fact, I didn't even have the $200 to pay the bankruptcy fee. I had to go on a four month payment plan. Mommy and daddy had to talk with me. They said, you need to grow up and really get a job now and this entrepreneurship thing is not working. I decided that day to really commit to being an entrepreneur and I spent the next nine years really working on my drumming career and building a big business out of it. However, I thought things were going good, but then 2011, I had a mental health breakdown. In fact, I've been struggling with mental health issues my whole life and I thought the drumming would take care of it, but something was different in 2011 and it was getting really bad. I was becoming depressed, angry, I was cutting myself and I became suicidal. So one day, I made a call to one of my friends who works in the Department of Mental Health for New York State. And I said to her, I need help. I'm gonna die if you don't help me. And she said, I have a solution. I'd like to hire you to be my keynote speaker. And I said, no, I need a therapist. I don't know what to do and I'm in pain. And she said, I'd like to hire you to be my keynote speaker. So I got off the phone with her really frustrated. And then she did that thing that you should never do through email. She sent me an email and copied everyone from the Department of Mental Health and formally invited me to be her keynote speaker. So I figured I don't have a therapist and I don't want to die, but maybe this would work for now and they're going to pay me money. So I went to get up and share with a group of 500 people about my challenges living with mental health issues my whole life. Being in a psychiatric ward three times, cutting myself and trying to commit suicide. I got a standing ovation and within one year, I was traveling around this country, opening up mental health conferences throughout the country. And this was the birth. And this was the birth of this part of my business called Transforming Stigma, where I go around talking about mental health in conferences, colleges, organizations, and how it's okay to have mental health issues. And it's become a really, really big business, and I am on the road half the year traveling because of this business. And I realized, looking back, that that thing that mommy and daddy told me not to talk about, because it would never, ever get me into anything, was really a huge opportunity. So I encourage all of you to sometimes look at your challenges. It's not always about a business idea. It could be that thing that you're in pain with or someone else is in pain with, and there can be some great opportunities there. Thank you very much.